Craig Morgan is ready to talk about his son, Jerry. In fact, he enjoys any opportunity to tell the world about how his 19-year-old son changed his life, his family's life, and the life of everyone he knew. July 10th will mark two years since the recent high school graduate died in a tubing accident. But his spirit lives on through his friends and loved ones, Morgan's music, and a corner store in Dixon, Tennessee. I'm Anya Hammer, and make no mistake, Craig Morgan and his family are still grieving the loss of Jerry, a boy they fostered as a baby, adopted as a young boy, and raised alongside their three other children. There's still days I wake up and go, and I see his picture and go, you know, wow. Daughter Allie joined Craig to talk about life after the tragedy, their small business venture, and the TV show Morgan Family Strong, which begins airing on Up TV on March 1st. The pair are more than just business partners. Along with Craig's wife, Karen, she's taken to touring with the singer. It's part of the healing process for all of them. We actually got emotional on stage one night. <laughs> we never do. Like, we're, we're pretty good about keeping it together until we're alone. I think, I think we're pretty good about that. Um, but something had happened on stage and we both just got emotional and it was one of the more embarrassing moments in my life. <laughs> Our new stage name was Craig Morgan and the Weepers because we just couldn't hold it together. Um, but you know, it, you ju it just happens when it happens and I, I don't think there's a, a set time. Yeah, I don't, you know, I, I don't feel, and I, I think the family is, shares this, there's no shame. No, in not that. at all. Uh, you just, you just let it happen. Mm -hmm. We do try to find, uh, for me personally, I, I, I find my private moments, mm -hmm. and it's usually late at night or real early in the morning, and no one's around, and I'll go out in the shop, and I'll cry, and I mean, I, our, we have a family gravesite on our property, so I literally, I've walked down there a few times. I get angry. I mean, that, it go, it, it, there's phases in this grief, too, uh, and it's very frustrating, you know, so... We just kind of deal with it, and like uh, Alex is, and we all said it. Wyatt, our youngest, is the one that said it. We just had, he started. We just had to live. We live with the suck. The gallery at Morgan Farms was born out of a hobby. Morgan is a talented woodworker, and after Jerry died, he'd find himself in his workshop, whittling or sanding or sculpting. He kept his hands busy and let the emotions come over him. Soon he realized the family needed something positive to focus on together, so they restored a downtown Dixon storefront, started turning out artisan crafts, and prayed. Karen was the most difficult to convince when it came time to discuss the reality television show. She didn't want to do it without Jerry. As it turns out, she's one of the more entertaining characters on Morgan Family Strong, which is kind of a much more polished, very inspiring, very bittersweet version of Duck Dynasty. Everything in our store is made by someone in our family, for the most part, with the exception of a couple different things. Um, but we have pillows from my grandmother. My, my brother makes beard oil and beard combs. Organic and beard oil. Yeah, or he says organic. Um, we they're do, expensive. they are expensive. Um, <laughs> my mom and I they're make, great beard, though. He, he does. does he does have beard. a great beard. Um, but anyway, we, you know, we, we, we do these things together as a family. And so it's Chelsea nice. Chelsea does paintings? Yeah, know. Chelsea, my brother's wife, does paintings. I, you know, my husband hasn't he done it. <laughs> he hasn't done anything. He didn't even help with the business aspect. He should. What are you he, about? He, well, okay. Anyway. <laughs> Jerry, Craig says, would have been all in on this business. In fact, he joked that his son would have quit college to run the store just so all the girls could see him. He was a good-looking kid with a big smile and an even bigger heart. His sister, Allie, describes him as not just happy, but joyful. He was a very creative kid, too. Super creative. S suffered from severe, severe uh, dyslexia, uh, which are, you know, history shows, and, and you can read books, that some of the uh, top entrepreneurs in the, in the country, in the world, are dyslexic. To the point where I think it, um, in, in high school, he had to have an iPad to take to class with him and not write notes. So it was, it was to the point where it was obvious, you know, his classmates would see. They and that's, that's intimidating, I it think, for a teenage boy. For um, so he had to deal with a lot of adversity um, in regards to dyslexia, but he still managed to press on and, and help us start this business, really. I was so focused on being a parent that I didn't get to see the impact that my son was having in people's lives until after the fact. And I, and I think I would have seen those things uh, if he were still here today in time. Like I see the impact that my other children are having and have had. Uh, and I may be a little more focused now having lost Jerry. Uh, but it was also very inspiring. It's very motivating when I hear someone come up to me and talk about how Jerry tried to convince them to go to church. <laughs> you know, And a lot of the people that he affected Sometimes they didn't know him but three weeks or, or 15 minutes. I've had people come up and say, I met him one time, and in that 15 minutes, he changed my life. And I didn't, and that was, you know, before, that happened before, and they, you know, it's just amazing. So we absolutely, we enjoy talking about him. 
That boy loved his family mm -hmm. and his friends more than anything. And nothing else got in the way of that. Uh, he would have arguments with his friends and they would get over it. But you, to hear the stories his friends talk about how much he meant to them. And I, I want to have that same impact. I hope when I'm gone, I hope that people gather and say, he changed my life. And, and, and in the 15 minutes I knew him, uh, he enlightened me and he made me smile and those things. The same, same stuff that I hear about him. Thanks for watching Unfiltered, an in-depth series of interviews exploring the life, loss, and struggles of some of country music's biggest stars. Subscribe for more and then share this video with a friend, a Craig Morgan fan, or just someone you think it might help. Find more information on Morgan Family Strong at uptv.com.